Now let's practice using the product rule. Let's say we have y of x equal to x to the power of 5 multiplied by sine of 3x. Well, our two factors are x to the power of 5 and sine of 3x. So using product rule, let's take the derivative of the first factor, which is equal to 5x to the power of 4, and multiply that by the second factor. Next, we add the derivative of the second factor, which in this case is cosine 3x. And using the chain rule, we multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is 3x. And then the derivative of 3x is equal to 3. And we multiply this by the first factor. So we can write it out like this. And this is our final answer. So let's say we have a second example and our factors are 3x minus 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 2. Okay, derivative of the first factor is equal to 4 times 3x minus 2 to the power of 3. Using the chain rule, we multiply by 3, and then we multiply by the second factor, and add the derivative of the second factor which is negative 2 times 2x plus 3. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is equal to 2, and multiply by the first factor. So let's try to clean this up a little bit. 4 times 3 is 12. And then we have 3x minus 2 to the power of 3. And then 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 2. And we have negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4, minus 4 times 2x plus 3 to the negative third power times 3x minus 2 to the fourth power. So some teachers like students to factor out their answer so that it's easier to find the values that make the derivative I should add a derivative here make the derivative equal to zero so we're gonna factor this out common factor of 12 and 4 and then common factor over here and over here this is the lower power so and multiply by 3x minus 2 to the power of 3rd. And let's just choose this one. 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 2. And then this is going to be multiplied by 3 times... Oh, that's the same. So we're going to multiply by negative 1 times 3x minus 2, so that we get 3x minus 2 to the power of 3 times 3x minus 2, which adds to 4. And then multiply by 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 1, so that we have 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 2, multiply by, by 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 1 to get negative 3. And that is our final answer.